Ah, shit, it saw me. All right, we're going to have to fight. Let's go. What up, Try me. Try me. Try me. Try me. Stupid. She thought she was going to get me with that bullshit. Boop. Get so your ass out of here. What the hell? Woo. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy TJ, and you already know what time it is. It's time to play some Hog Warts Legacy. <laughs> yo, so in the last episode, what did we do? It, see, my all my episodes start off like this. You should already you shouldn't even be surprised. Um <laughs> I don't remember what happened in the last episode, except for the fact that, oh, we met Professor Garlic. I was simping big time over her now i think about it i think i was simping a little too much yeah <laughs> but hey it's it's not that big of a deal but yeah we met her we did some other things uh which i don't remember but it's okay it's not that big of a deal i'm just ready to continue this so let's jump into this next episode if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time i post remember it's absolutely free if you do not enjoy my content you can always change your mind later and well, whether you are ready or not, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to do it anyway. Let's do this. Have you ever been to the pit? Hmm. Hop it. Boop. Uh, Homie going to break his knees. His kneecaps is going. Who the hell is you stomping at? You know what? You might be on the other side now. Yeah, you over here. What's good, my boy? Are you above me or nah? You you on the other side? What's up, bro? Stomping at me? What the hell is wrong with you? Hold on, I gotta come up to you. What up, bitch? What's good? What? Boop. Do something. Do something. Do. I shoot your foot. What's good? Yeah. Mess your foot up. Now what? What you gonna do? Better be lucky. I don't know what to do against you. You would have been and got smacked. Hey yo. Let's get this key in here. Do something. Boop. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. What number is that? Man. What number is that? Six. Hey, I got ten more. Let's go. When do I learn Alohomora? Once I learn Alohomora, bro, I'm going to level it up as soon as I possibly can. I wanted to get to level 3 so I can open every single lock in this school. Shoot, even in, at Hogsmeade. Is it Hogsmeade or Hogmeade? No, it's Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, yeah. So what's in here? A uh, quest? So apparently, I think I've been in here before. I'm about to go all up in this man's room. What you got in here? Yeah, yeah, I've already been in here. I don't remember coming in this classroom though, but hey, it's whatever. Let's go. Oh, what up, Sebastian? This is a dude limping. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Ah, oh, bet. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of it, you will brew fair. a Wigan Weld potion of your own. I want points. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Oh, so he's just telling us to, to, to brew the potion? Bad, I'm about to learn how to make Wigan Weld. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Uh, yeah. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. Drop One errant head. sneeze could be disastrous. Okay, add some more. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. See, he think we over here, we over here brewing that Wigan Wheel, but what he don't know 
So we over here, we over here making some jungle juice. <laughs> I'm about to get everybody in this class fucked up. <laughs> I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Oh, damn, I'm already done? Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Correct. Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Bro, already compared to Snape? I'm not gonna lie, I like Snape. Snape is cool, but... If you're supposed to be like his, should you chop the it? Ditney or crush it? Isn't it? Isn't the, the word predecessor? Could result in the unfortunate loss of your but this is like years before, so I don't know. But like either way, it was this one. That looked like way more than one. That looked like there was like at least like five or six of them there. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Why are you being nosy, bro? <laughs> Yeah, you heard correctly. Why do you want to know? Yeah, see, I, he being nosy. I don't like nosy people a lot of the times, unless it's me, because I'm very nosy. I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> yes, but why does that matter to you? Exactly. Brilliant. And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Bro. These are the type of students that you want to stay away from. The ones that can get you in trouble with their stupid shenanigans. Come on now. <laughs> shenanigans. That's such a weird word. <laughs> I can get you that feather. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't either. I don't want to get in trouble. If he's anything like Snape, I'm not trying to get, like, have a target on my back for the rest of the time here. Granted, oh, well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Bro, I swear. <laughs> Should I do it? I'm not trying, like I said, I'm not trying to get on this bad side, bro. Uh, Cause I have, I have one task and that's to go in there, get what I need and then leave. This motherfucker want me to go in there, get what I need and get something for him. If he really needed that, he should have asked me when I went in there before class started. Because I'm a snooper. Come on now. Uh, I don't want to do it. But then again, I'm curious. Like, what is he going to make? Eh, fuck it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Bro, if I get in trouble for you... I'm gonna have a hatred towards Weasleys. That's a lie. I fucking love Weasleys. <laughs> I love Weasleys. That's a big old feather. Oh, that's a cute little bird, too. Alright, what else I got? Ashwinder eggs. And. Mongol fur. Yo, you hear that wolf? <laughs> Ow! I'm sorry. I'm in a very goofy mood right now. <laughs> Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. When this concoction. <laughs> concoction. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Potion station unlocked. Beds. Alright, let me make me a, a Wigan weld. I need a hork, hork lump juice. Did I not grab what I needed? I 
I can't. Oh, I gotta make an endurance. Okay. I thought I was tripping. 28 seconds. Okay. So while that's and brewing, now we add the mallow sweet. see if I can walk around real quick and get back before odd. it's done. What's I'm gonna like? walk. Walk the rest of the way. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Yo! <laughs> well done, Gareth. Ah, oh, bro, we getting in trouble for what that. Now, Mr. Weasley. I should never help this Sorry, ass. Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. I knew he didn't know what he was doing. I should have just trusted my gut. Let me get my endurance potion. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. This is what I call complete BS. Get me in trouble, bro. Weasley, you on my? What you talking for, bro? I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Weasley, you on my bad list, dog? I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Bro, I don't know what you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. I know this. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right, then. I, thought I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. But I honestly Plus thought that dismissed. he was going to take points from Gryffindor, not from Gryffindor, from Slytherin because of his stupid self. You know what, Gareth? I'm going to give you one last chance, dog. That first impression was not the best. And you kind of almost got me in trouble, but you didn't get points taken from my from my house. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to give you one more chance. Stop being stupid, though. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me in trouble, dog. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Like I said, I'm going to give you another chance. Then I mean I'm going to get you more ingredients, you dickhead. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from that inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> I was listening to what she was saying. All right, what's next? Uh, inventory? Wait, did they give me that Wigan Whale potion? No, I just got... Oh, that's the stuff I picked up from his office. Alright. Collections. Ingredients. Uh... Oh, it's the Ashwander eggs. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I still got more? Did I miss something? Oh, the, um... Mongrel fur. Alright. I didn't even do what I was about to... Oh my goodness, I get distracted way too easy. Quest! Uh, the girl from Wagadoo and the Dalian Key. So the Dalian Key thing is going, going to be there for a while. So I ain't too worried about that. So, girl from Wagadoo. Let's go figure out what the heck she wants. I don't even remember what she wanted. I just know she wants something. Alright. I just had a whole lot of stuff happen. And I'm very irritated. But, let's continue. <laughs> Let's go in here. Hey, yo. I heard that. I heard that. Rebellion. I'm gonna get this real quick. Boop. 
My gear slots are full. My my gear slots are full. What? All right, I'm good now. Let's go. I did all that for something that's weaker than I still hear it. Revelio. Ah, there it is. Uh, groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furni furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Nice. I have I have uncollected rewards. What you what I got? Field guide pages. The regalia gear? Bro, I'm not wearing that ugly ass shit, bro. Let me go find Natty. I'm gonna go find Natty. I'm at, whoa, hold on, I'll just look at the map. There's a there's a cave down there. I should investigate. That's what I'm about to do. Thank you for telling me the obvious. Hop down. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna get hurt. See? You're perfectly fine. Hey! Smoke on dude. Hey yo, this is stuff that makes the um what's it called? The uh Wigan Wheel potion. Will it hurt me if I touch it? I can't touch it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, there's a flame. Incendio. Oh, that was loud. It didn't do anything though. I know I have something to do with this. Let me do it again. Ooh. Hey yo, I set it on fire. Yo, that's hard. I like that. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. Get your butt over here. Fantastic. Climb up. It's like a fireplace. Let's keep going. Symbols on the walls and stuff. An urn. And a chest. Let's go. A tasseled koofy. Hey, I got a new hat. It's green, but it says it said it improves. So, so let me see what it improves. I can't even put it on. Oh, it only goes up two. Bro, that's some dookie. Yo, wasn't that just over? Bro, this world is crazy. Ooh, more moonstone. Moonstone. <laughs> Moons, give me strength. All right, I can't climb up more. Whatever. All right, let's continue. There's a big ass crater on the floor. The fuck. All right. Uh. Ooh. Leech juice. Leech juice. Boo. All right. Uh. Let's go across the water. Can you? I was about to say, can you swim? I guess you. Can. Hey, yo, what's that out there? There's a little circle there that's like shooting up at me. What you got? Hey, yo, I just got a scarf. Uh... Oh my god! 65 to 81? Oh, you best believe I'm throwing that on. And it's... Oh, and it's a legendary. They just got legendary stuff sitting out in the middle of the water. Oh, it's ugly. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say any of these scarves are ugly. I'm going to say that they just don't match my outfit. At all. Uh, they just don't. I'm not about to wear no scarf, though. I don't even think I've ever worn a scarf in, like, real life before. Yes, you may. Oh, my feathers. My feather, feather. My fellow Slytherin. Hello, Miss Grace. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see... I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Possibly? I mean, I just went underwater, so it's not that big of a deal. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! 
precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so hmm. sorry. What Just, happened uh... to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Alright, so th <laughs> this girl just asked me to go out into the lake to dive down and find one of her family heirlooms. Keep in mind, the only reason it's possibly down there is because of the fact that her, her grand was the grandparents. I wasn't truly really listening, but like her grandparents went missing out in the middle of the lake <laughs> doing something. So she wants me to go out there and get her heirloom. That sounds dangerous as fuck. But I'm all about this, so let's do it. Um, but I'm very curious though, because she keeps on talking like I should know who she is, so who are you? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Medleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Okay then, I like your confidence. Uh, I have to think about this. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand, but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's the hell over there about a furlong from the dock it would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back girl stop talking to me i do hope you find the astrolabe it would mean so much to our family it what sounds I as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock i should dive down and see all right now before i have this motherfucker jump down there i'm gonna just explain something to y'all real quick this is the third time I've had to record this. I'm just, I'm not even going to try to hold y'all on this. This is some complete BS. I've been having all types of stuff going wrong while recording this episode. So, if I seem a little irritated at points, that's why. <laughs> that's, that's why. I might leave that in, I might not. We're going to see. But let me hop in here. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Shit, it better be. Let's go. Is that it? Bro, my gear slots is... Alright, I gotta get rid of some stuff. Hold on. Try it again. I got me some gloves. And it suits me up. Let's go. What are we getting? Oh my goodness. Put me in the high 90s, why don't you? I'm about to start smacking fools. That's my offense, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those. Uh, nah, I'm good. I'm not wearing those. There's another one right here. Swim faster, bro. Go down, bro. What's he doing? Blue four eye spectacles, bro. I don't care about something that's not gonna put my stats up. <laughs> I'm trying to get strong in this, bro. You okay? You gonna come back up? Hey, yo, I think my dude is drowning. Oh, sh I need some help. I need some help. <laughs> oh my god, come back up, bro. Can you breathe? Oh my god, I think the game is glitched. <laughs> <laughs> my dude's about to die! Back up. I think my dude's drowning. I can't even see him. He's drowning! A few moments later. 
Bro, I seriously thought you was dead. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I thought you were a goner. Girl, you almost gave me your parents, I mean, your grandparents bad luck. We was going at the box. What you got? Okay, I got the astrolabe. I also got a wiggle wheel potion. That, oh, I got three of them. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hey, fuck that girl, bro. She almost got you killed. Let's check this one. What we got? What we got? Hey! Give me some more stats. Let's go. Facewear. Absolutely nothing. Ooh. Swim your way over here. What we got right here? A clockwork scar uh, scarf, and it doesn't do anything for me, so I don't care. Let's go back to her. Hey, shut your ass up. You almost got me killed. And I do not appreciate that at all. Let me get up here so I can chew you out. Hey, hey. You almost got me killed. What's wrong with you? Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did and I'm keeping it. Because fuck you. <laughs> nah, you better pay me. You almost killed me. I better get something for this. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And 20. I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I'm gonna be so real with you. I got a mermaid mask? There's always so much going on on the screen. But no, I'm gonna be so real with you. I didn't even need the reward. I was just mad at the fact that you almost killed my guy. Like, he almost died trying to help you. So, you better be appreciative of the fact that I got that for you. Let me go over this food flame just in case some stupid stuff happens again. Don't say nothing to me. Yo, she really don't talk no more. I mean, she still talk, but like, not often. I am loving that. Ooh, bag. Hey, another chest. Oh my gosh, why are my gear slots always full? They're always full. It's always, as a matter of fact, hold on, I think there's a shop over here. Let me go talk to the shop person. Hop over. First, open fence. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Mr. Uh, Jala Simi. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer Sorry, any right. questions you have about the town. Uh, who are you? What do you sell? Any rumors going about? Don't care about you, to be completely honest. Sorry about that. Um, you just told me you're a potions person, so you probably sell Wigan Wheels, and that's really all I care about. And rumors? Sure. Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an ashwinder. She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Catherine's so hiding sorry. in a camp just southwest of town. Really? May I see you where? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Give me your wigan worlds. Obviously. Ah, yes. A wonderful choice. That's all I want, honestly. I'm about to sell a bunch of stuff to you. Uh... I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Of course not. You know why? Because it was legendary. Give me all the monies. All the monies. I'm trying to get rich. Let's... Eh, let's go. Oh, yes. Not selling that. I got 2,000 gold. Let's Hope go. see you again sometime. Of course. I'll be back if I'm ever in this area. Possibly. Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. Hey, I got a new, um, a new handle for my wand. Okay. I was about to say pause, but I, I was trying to figure out if that actually did sound bad or not. 
Hey. Okay, I can work with that. I'll wear that one for a, for a little while. Let's go. Let's go back to that chest and see whatever the heck that was in there. Please don't be something that's worth. No, nah, that's a waste of my time. Please don't be. Hey. Is that green arrow? That's what I'm looking for. That is not the right. <laughs> that's not the right thing. Go to gear. Face wear. It's green. And it. Don't. Oh my god. No, that's the one I'm already wearing. It's this one. Goes up three. Bro, but I can't wear it because I gotta be level 16. What's up with all these things being level 16? Me not be able to wear them. Uh, I never a... thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. There's a goblin right there. I broke that thing by stepping on it. My bad. I didn't mean to scare myself. <laughs> What's up, Arn? Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out, took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Oh, really? Uh, has this happened before? Are you a painter? Uh, I don't feel like having a bunch of small talk, bro. Not in this episode. I'm just, I'm not in the mood. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if y'all want to hear that, then I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was oh, nice you. meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Nah, bro, I got you. I'm about to give you your carts back. Um, Natty's just gonna have to wait. If she's okay with After that. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Hey, yo. There's red little little arrows on the map. Of course I'm ready to fight. What am I fighting? What's out here? There's a... Oh my god, that's a big ass spider. Ah, shit, it saw me. Alright, we're gonna have to fight. Let's go. What up, Try me. Try me. Try me. Try me. Stupid. You thought she was gonna get me with that bullshit? Boop, get your ass out of here. What the hell? Woo. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, Ooh, that scared the hell out of me. Uh oh, bitch. Get your, sit your ass on fire. Boop, boop, boop. Hell is wrong with you. Sneaking up on me like that. Where's that? Oh, shit. Big ass spider. Stupid bitch. I'm up. Hey. Yeah, what's good? Incendium. Too far. There we go. That works. Alright, we Gucci. Cast fiends. Man, I don't like spiders. It's okay though. I'll take your spider fangs. Any day of the week. Uh what's this little thing on the Oh So those things are Rebellio pages. Herbertine Black Scale. The Herbertine Black. Uh, it's a dragon. That's all I gotta say. Big ass scale. Right, let's go back to the path. Yo! Big ass dragon! Hey, may you rest in peace, homie? Dragons aren't necessarily bad in this game, right? Well. I say that even though I got attacked by a dragon at the beginning of the damn game. Um But they said they said the dragons don't typically just do that though. So yeah. Rest in peace, homie. Fight me. Fight me. I'll give you I'll give you a chance. I said I'll give you a chance. I said I'd give you a chance. You failed. You failed. And now look at you. 
Alright. No more attacking stuff. It's not in my character anyway. That's a lie. I love I love fighting in this game. It's so much fun. What's up? What the hell you think you gonna sneak up on? So ass out of here. Thought you gonna sneak up on somebody. Ooh, collectibles. Oh, y'all close. My bad. I didn't realize I was that close. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Fight me, bitch. Get rid of that. Boop. You don't need that. Boop, 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 boop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Press the wrong button. But you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one little hit on me. So, I'll give you that. I took your friend's wig and wheel potion, so. Ah, it's right there. Okay. Ah, oh, you think you slick. Boop. Hey, there's one. Oh, he must have came out looking for me. Didn't go too well for you, did it? I'm sorry. Loyalist Ranger, huh? Boop. Alright, what you got in here? I know to take it slow, not worry too much. Boop! Oh my god, wrong button. Boop, 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 boop! Come on! Come on, fight me! Fight me! Boop, boop, boop! Oh, that didn't do nothing to me! Oh my! Hold on! That was wrong with you. Think you can hit me while I'm still wearing my. Uh uh. Oh, oh! Come on, get close to me. Get close to me. Boop, what you gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Can't even see him. Let me, let me get him. Ooh, stop trying to hit me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I can't, I can't dodge that. Oh my god. Whew. I got a drink of Wigan Will. Arrogant child. How many of them are is there? Oh my goodness! Ah! Woo! Dude, how many of them are there? What type of stuff is this? Ah, bro, stop doing that! I'm about to use up all my damn. Get out of here! Give me your stuff. Come on. Bro, how you still hit me? What type of stuff is that? Oh, I took him out. Oh my god! Woo! Come on. Bro, stop trying to hit me like that. Yeah, I know I can defeat you. Well, how many of them are you? Woo! Oh my goodness! Come on! Woo! Oh my goodness! What is what is going on right now? I can't see anything. All right. Come on. Bro, how do I? How do I stop you? Mm, nope, that didn't work. That didn't work. Nope. Oh lord. Come on, take that. Come on. That's not working. No, how do I? Oh my god. I see that. You ain't gotta bug me about it. How do I fight you? Woo! Alright. Wait, hold on. Let me try this. Yeah, that worked! Oh! Woo! I got his ass! Let's go! Alright, who's up there shooting at me? Bitch? 
Alright, he's done for. Stupid one. Is that one up? Are you okay up there? Ow! <laughs> Come on now! Keep me in my butt cheeks. Oh, pause. Who told you you could do that? Sit your ass down. Nah, bro. Oh, you better be lucky. Let me come up here. Let me come up here with you. Bro, smack me again, you dirty bastard! You are What you mean I'm terribly unmatched? I just took out dang near all of y'all. You okay, bro? Alright, you're done. Alright, there's one more. I'm sorry, little homie. He was down there talking all that stuff and couldn't even handle it. Now come up here, homie. I know you can. I know you can. Or not. What was that? Do something! I'm not alone. Bro. Is there a way I can drop something on Ooh! Ooh! These I can You won't survive this, my young friend! I won't. I won't. You ain't either. Get his ass! Get his ass! Is it too? There we go. Yeah, get his ass. Boop! Come on! Come on! Boop! Ah! <laughs> now, to free Arn's cart. Ah, that was fun. I'm gonna be so real with you, I thought I was gonna die. Thank you, Professor Garlic, and yeah, teaching me how to do the plant thing, because that's actually really helpful. But I was not about to go down there. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm about to explore your little area first, though. Think about it. This whole campus got taken out by a student. By a kid. And they couldn't they couldn't take me on? Granted, they almost did get me a couple of times. I had to use a decent amount of my um, Wigan Well potions. But at the same time, though, I still won. And that's all that matters. <laughs> oh man, I fell down. That's all that matters. Let's go down here. I'm looking for chest. Yep, there's a chest right there. Fantastic. Oh, wrong button. Bro, why do y'all keep on giving me stuff that I can't do nothing with? All right. Fantastic. Come on, cart. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on. I must say, he literally just said, Ooh, there's a chest back here. Hey, there we go. That's something I could do something with. Oh, when did I get these? Well, these are better, so. And I don't mind the way that these look. I'm keeping those on. Oh, they still don't match the outfit, though. Come on, bro. You gotta at least try to match the outfit. You know what? I'm gonna let you wear them, though. Am I riding the back of this thing? Hey, yo, pause. That's sounded kind of gay. It's whatever, though. Hey, let's go back to, uh... Let's go back to the homie. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Okay. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. Of course, of course. It was no trouble. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with... Witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Of course. That's a little excessive. <laughs> no, that sounds wonderful. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Of course, bro. I'm on your side. I don't like the oh, other nice goblins, but I like you. Once my cars arrive, I'd be happy to show you my way. Wait, only then? You have a little peruse. You, if you have, bro, give me your wiggle wheel potions. 
There we are then. That'll do nicely, I'm sure. I low key want a mandrake. I low key want a mandrake. It's expensive though. But it's worth it. I'm about to mess people up with that. <laughs> All right, it's Natty. It's good to see you, my friend. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's talk, Miss Natty. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. Natty? I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I have no idea. Nah. They want something I found. No, I can't say, because I'm not going to tell you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone yeah. has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. This could be dangerous, though. Are you sure you're up to the challenge? Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be Yo, Natty, you're a real one. Natty is a real one. She got my back. What's going on here? The fuck? What was that? They must hey, have yo. come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. You should never oh, I get to fight? Let's go! Work together like that and we are golden. Show us us out of here. Who the hell is you? Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? What's good? That is oh! Yo, yo, I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! <laughs> Bitch! Fuck out of here. No, you about to get smacked. So I uh, down. Hmm, that's good. Nah, I want you. Hmm. I want you. You next. You thought? You thought? Such a wise song fight. Yo, he disappeared. Yo. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. It's called I'm a wanted man, and I don't really understand why. But at the same time, I'm cool with it. Cause I know I can handle myself. You being there helped me out a lot, but I know I can handle myself, Miss Lady. I am curious about you though. Who the hell are you? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your... Hmm. 
Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical oh. hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Interesting. Okay, I like that. That's, like, that's, that's cool, that's cool. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. That's cool. That's cool. I'm sorry. I love I love hearing stuff like that. The fact that like gay marriage is like is such a problem to other people. But to me I'm just like, yo, you love who you love, so you have every right to be with who you want to be with. So like who who is it to anybody else to tell you who you can be with? Like, come on now. I love that. I love the fact that they put this in the game. Um, I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin mm. attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These mm. vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Interesting. Seems a bit tedious. How fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Really? Versatile her. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Hmm. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Well, let me get your Mallow Sweet then. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Sounds good to me. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell. And we'll see what happens. Sounds like a good plan to me. Give me a second, though. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Huh. Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Pyre? Yo, pyro means fire. Incendio. Let's go. The flames make the fire. How beautiful. Hey, yo. What a day. I can hardly believe it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. It just made sense. <laughs> There's three of them. They all need to be lit. So why the freak not? What's up, little lady? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. 
you should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that <laughs> each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. As to you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. All right, then. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, that is so cool. I wish I could do stuff like that. But... Since I can't do stuff like that, I can do stuff like this. It is time to end this video. <laughs> Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Hey, yo, I'm about to have a, a house elf help me. A uh, house elf help me. <laughs> but we're going to have to see more about that in the next episode. But until then, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time I post. Remember, it's absolutely free. If you're not enjoying my content, you can always change your mind later. Um, This was a very, very eventful episode. I had a whole lot of frustrations happen while making this or recording this episode, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not that mad about it. But hey, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace!